I'm Dan Gookin, author of these books on Word, and here's today's Word Tip. I received an email from Brian which reads, I'm in the process of writing my life story, but have hit a problem with my margins. I'm trying to arrange margins for binding with one edge wider than the other. It works fine for the first four pages, then the wide border goes to the outside edge for four pages. It then switches back again for the rest of the document so far. This sounds like an issue with sections. As a review, a section is a container for page-level formatting. On the Layout tab, items in the Page Setup group deal with page formatting, as well as headers and footers which are found in the Insert tab. But back on the Layout tab, you see Margins. If you choose Margins and then Custom Margins, you see the Apply to menu, which lists sections as an option if the document has sections, as this one does. Sections are invisible, though they can appear similar to a page break. To make them visible on the Home tab, choose the Show Hide button. Now you can scan the document, specifically the part where the margins mess up, to confirm that a section break is to blame, and there it is. Now I don't recommend deleting the section break, as it may screw up some other page formatting in the document, such as a header or footer, page numbering, and so on. Instead, in this new section, Reset the margins to apply them to the entire document. So click the mouse somewhere where the margins change. And then back on the Layout tab, choose Margins, Custom Margins, and from the Apply To menu, choose this section. Now you're going to have to do this for each section, even though there's an option there that says Whole Document. Unfortunately, it doesn't work when you have sections. You must apply the format in the section, which is why sections are so frustrating. But still, sections can be useful. It helps to understand how they work. And for more help, well, <laughs> check out my word books, especially Word 2016 for professionals for dummies.